So I was having a bit of a moment today, and so there's this one little microorganism that I don't know why, for whatever reason, the name of will not stick in my brain. So I was literally, for like 10 minutes today, I was frantically googling, trying to find out this name of this little motherfucker, and I just couldn't do it. So I even sent a Snapchat video to like three of my science friends, being like, what the fuck is this little bitch? And literally eight seconds after I sent the video, I remembered the name, and it's these motherfuckers. So this little bitch is called a paramecium, and I have known about the existence of these since like grade 11. We went over these in grade 11 science, and, but for some reason, they have never been able to stick in my brain what they're called. Every time they like come to my attention or like remember that they exist, I cannot think of their name. So I'm going to make a TikTok about them and hopefully it'll either help it stick in my brain or at the very least I can scroll down through my account and find out instead of spending a bunch of time googling for no reason. So paramecium are a type of microorganism in the protista um, kingdom. Yeah, kingdom. So protists are kind of weird in general. They're just kind of the, well, it's not an animal, it's not a fungus, it's not a plant, and it's not a bacteria, so I guess it's probably a protist. That's just kind of where they're stuck. They're, they're just kind of here. So, they are eukaryotic cells, which means they have a membrane-bound nucleus, but they are single-celled organisms, so there's only one cell. Like, this entire thing is just a cell. Again, what kind of defines eukaryotes is it has its genetic material, so like DNA and stuff, enclosed in a nucleus which has a membrane instead of just kind of floating around the cell. So these guys are eukaryotes, so even though they do somewhat look like bacteria, they are not. They are found in basically all types of water. They are aquatic, but they are found in fresh water and salt water and brackish, which means a mix of both fresh and salt. So they're pretty much, if, if you go into water, they're going to be there. They're very interesting. They use cilia, which are basically little things that just flap around and that's how they move. They have a fuck ton of them and that they just beat the cilia and that is how they move around. And they also use the cilia to feed. So they beat particles, so like bacteria or algae or like just junk towards, it's called the buccal cavity, I'm pretty sure, I think that's right, they beat it towards, it basically functions as the mouth, it goes down where it's enveloped in a vacuole and then digested. These guys are also model organisms, which I think I've mentioned before, but they're basically a go-to organism for research because they're very easy to use in a lab. In this case, they would be a model organism for, like, um, Unicellular, unicellular eukaryotes, so eukaryotic cells with that's eukaryotic organisms that just are made up of one cell. Again, you can find them pretty much anywhere. If you go take like a scoop of like lake water, you will most likely find protists among a bunch of other um, microorganisms, which is very interesting. Um, but yeah, these guys, paramecium. I'm gonna fucking remember it, and if not, this video will be here to remind me so I don't have to go bother my friends.